Welcome back, guys, to Trails of Cold Steel 4, where last episode, having returned to Erin Village with all seven points now found, the mapping began faster than Roselia expected as Ren and Kia combined to bring technology into the fray, combining Ren's laptop with some Arcus 2s to see the time frame drop to just a day of processing. With it being Altina's turn to explore the town, she started her sweep of the village, playing Vantage Masters against Kia and Pom Pom Party against Estelle, as we now check out the awaiting quest before heading into St. Grail Labyrinth's full phase. Well, I guess there's still the area over there to check out for people, too. Okay, so actually it returned to our guest room. Let's go to where the things are, and then let's go do the quest. Oh, there's nothing here. No one was out here. Did I fail to speak to Cerberus? No, 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 it's not a cat. And he's still in the easy games? Well, I'm not going to get any better. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's that's the top skill level you've already seen. Are you looking after the shop? Yuna and the instructor Reen said this dog was smart, but isn't this going a little too far? Things must be difficult for you, I assume. Aru? <laughs> I guess I should buy something. <laughs> what if he's going to buy something in the usual tone? Well, we can trade it for stuff if we wish to, but I think we're fine for the time being. About Tetris. Tetris makes a little bit more shape, but I can only play it at the casual level. Alright, Gandalf's Orbital Factory. What's going on here? Is there new weapons to buy? Oh god, I didn't even think about that. Emma's got a quest. Alright, here's that bracelet you asked me to work on. I thought I pulled the broken threads, so you should be able to use it for drawing in mana again. Thank you so much, Gandalf. Grandmother can be so lazy sometimes, just leaving her broken tools lying around like that. This store can repair magical items too. That's right, usually I try to fix them myself, but sometimes I'll ask Gandalf if I don't have the right parts. Or well, do you have something that he's fixing? There is one thing. Martina took out the broken pendant. Oh, that's the pendant I gave to Reen. I found it in my pocket after we escaped from the Growl of Erebus. When the space-time distortion occurred, I was the one closest to the pendant. This would explain it being in my possession. I see. That certainly does make sense. I've got no idea what you two are talking about, but this is some pretty serious damage here. The inside of the thing shot. It looks like it could fall apart any minute. If Reen had it on him in the Growl, his ogre power might have been too much for it. You don't say. With pendants like this, I can only imagine what kind of shape that Ashen Awaken is in. If you want this fixed, I'm going to need to replace the stone and the thread. I don't got the right materials, though. They're not so easy to come by. You might be able to find them out in the woods. Think you could go get some? Sure. Yes, I can do that. In that case, I'll come with you. I know those woods pretty well, so I should be able to help. Your help is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, listen up and I'll tell you exactly what I need. There's two kinds of materials I'm looking for. The first is a dry as tea and the other is a lotus vine. You should have no problem finding them with Emma helping you out. Ah uh, yes, dry as tears are usually found in tree hollows. As for the lotus vine, those tend to grow in places where there aren't any monsters around to trample them. If we explore the woods for a while, we should find them soon enough. Repairing the pendant has started. These are all rare ingredients. They'll be difficult to find. Well, I'll help you out. Let's see what we can scrounge up. Let me tell you about Dryer's Tears already. You can harvest them from the trunks of certain trees. It might take some searching, but if you wander around the woods a while, you should be able to find one. As for Lotus Vine, they tend to grow in more secluded areas. You might want to search narrow paths the bigger monsters won't use. It'll take some time, but you should find some eventually if you stick to it. Well, then I shall. Are there new weapons to buy? Yes. And they are more money than I have! In fact, everyone needs weaponry. So that's a bit of a thing. I guess I'll buy the Black Swan and the Blood Axe for now. Uh, ooh. No new Master Courts there. Can you make better? We can make better Exorbs now. 
But they cost the new material I don't have. I need a lot of stuff farmed. Alright, compare them up for five. So I'll do these two for now. I need to go to the... St. Grail Labyrinth. That's where I really need to go. Alright, so I have to find some stuff for a quest. Let's go out and see what we can find. Aaron Village is now done. Vantage Masters and more. Mini games are plenty. Now it's time for the quest, the St. Grail Labyrinth run. And whatever else comes before us. Alright, so Kia's with us. We still got that guy over there as well. You see, he's hanging out, waiting for me to defeat him at some point in time in the future. Wait, didn't you tell me to go? Where have you told me to go? Where is this quest? Well, we're in the chapter called Fragments. Preparing the pendant. Bark sentries. Secluded areas with no monsters. Technically, could it be there? <laughs> I guess one might be in each section of the teleportation stones. Just to be really irritating, right? <laughs> you want to run around in the forest too, do you, Kia? You don't have to tell me it's in the south of the north. I kind of get that point by the fact that there's no markers. Maybe we're... Just working through it in the head. Alright, just straight to the left through the first group of monsters. I'm assuming the monsters that are still here aren't exactly that strong there. anymore. We'll end this quest. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. But... Yeah. Is that all? While they may not be strong... Thanks. <laughs> I get link experience, right? I must train even more. And a small bit of Seth Mirror and Hika on your craft. Rain slash dew can now be used. A flurry of slashes that cleaves heaven and earth alike. Okay. That was random. I'm guessing you got it from the last encounter, but because when we got it, it couldn't show up. So fighting a couple of things ain't gonna be bad. They're not gonna give me experience by any means. Wide open. But I can get goodies and I can actually get Link experience. There. Now. It's amazing that we still can't one shot level 50 mobs. Let's go. Yeah. It's down. They're mine! Those sword tricks of yours not sword tricks. Really handy. How much step Thanks, is mirror do we even get? I trust from your these skills in battle. Oh, okay. Not much. Yeah. This looks like a short quest by look at things. Eh. I guess I can ignore you. But some of these guys drop you materials, right? There. How I got eh. There we go. Bonk him. And the U material drop is actually worth. There. I shall go. Arcus, activate. They're actually still fast My enough to, act to be a nuisance, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. Weak. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's still alive. Yeah. Okay, they don't do much damage on us anymore. I guess it's just the, 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 the thing about dropping new material. That's one way to farm it up. Battle complete. Let's you don't really continue. get any experience from these guys whatsoever, but... And 24 7 mirrors and bad 2 new materialists. That's actually 
decent. So I guess you can just grind new material in these areas for a bit if you want to. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... There's crystallized resin on these tree trunks. This must be the driest tears. They're very pretty, translucent like precious gems. Yes, they're commonly used in jewelry making for that exact reason. But they're better known among witches for their chi purification properties. I see. I had only heard of them by name from Instructor Reen before now. Oh yes, we were tasked with gathering them on our field studies in Bereahard. Though our team was going through a bit of an awkward phase at the time. It feels a little silly now thinking back on it. Your class started out the same way ours did. It's difficult to imagine seeing you now. Ah, oh, this large chunk should prove sufficient. Good choice. It should be easy enough to process. We've got a dry steer. Now Link will come along, crossing the game's borders, and eat it. Because he likes rocks. What a weird man he is. I think we just heard the monster, by the way, just go, uh, and poop itself a little. The high level people walking past him. What level are we now? A4. Bumpa, is how you grind your material? I guess you get the same rewards every time then. Maybe I can get better at it by doing that. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to go through another 100 U material, but technically, U material can also break the game a little bit because you get ridiculously powerful attachments from U material. Which I wouldn't mind having. <laughs> Pompey scares you. It scares me. I'm rubbish at those kind of games. I have no control over them. Obviously, I play them. You know, I'm playing it, so I have control over it. But I don't feel like like I get how to win. <laughs> and their screen fills up. Your screen doesn't. Plenty of fish to catch here. Yeah, I get that much. Yeah, here we go. Right along either side. There. We strike. Do you want to fight, do you? Cha! Bad. Big doggies. I shall go. Bad. Arcus, activate. My turn. Cheer up, guys! Cherubic smile! Very well. I don't mind having a billion critical percent chance. Strike! It's down. Sounds pretty tasty. They're mine! I got this. Yeah! It's down! I'll assist! Weak! Watching that death blow move over then was quite There's happy. More. I will admit. I shall go. For a small period of time, I was like. Eh, eh. Arcus, activate! Very well. There! They're mine! Alright! Right now, my head is critical! Huh. Sad times! My turn. Not enough! Not enough! My turn! Step it! Huh. Yeah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. this little bunny's got some bite. Your weapon specs are impressive as well, Ash. Still haven't reached level four between them, though. Will a big monster now appear? Wait, is it upstairs? No, it's up there. Not least too small. Look over there, Lotus Fine. That's quite high up. There's a reason for that. The sap it produces is irresistible to many monsters. The plants have evolved to grow in high, difficult to reach places where they're less likely to get eaten. They send us a calming effect on humans too. I see. It would be of help to instruct a Reen when he loses control of his powers. I'll call Clem Solace to help me procure the vines. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I'll do called Clem Solace and pick the vines. Are they long enough? Yes, they're perfect. You chose quite well. These must be decades old. The quality is excellent. Is that so? I was unable to differentiate them. Yes, the older the vine, the more magical powers accumulated within. You mean it'll be more effective? I was quite lucky then. 
We've assembled what we needed, a driest here and a lotus vine. Perfect. Let's go back to Gandalf. They're fixing a necklace. I want to see how. This could be interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing for myself as well. Nice, you got me some real good quality stuff. I'll get started right away. At least I'd like to. You see, what makes items like this powerful is the feeling put into it. I reckon you can make a new one yourself easy enough. Want to give it a shot? Uh, if you believe it's possible, then I will try. If this can keep Instructor Reem from having something so terrible happen to him ever again, I want to make sure to do anything and everything that I can. Oh, Tina. Okay, let me help you too. I had a feeling you say that. I cleared a place for you to work on it. Make yourself at home. Thank you very much. Altina began working on repairing Reen's pendant. It should fit all right if you just pare this part down a little more. I see. This is harder than I expected. Phew. Wow, so that's how you do it. Part. <laughs> this kind of makes me want to try making some for Lloyd and the others. I'm glad you're so into it, but don't worry yourself too hard. I can make some tea for us all, so we can take a break. I'll help. You too. Thank you for your support. All the young'uns. The minutes continued to tick by as Altina worked on the pendant, watched over by Kia and Ren. Now just add a little mana, and we're done. Wow, it's so pretty. Not bad at all. You'd never guess this was your first attempt. It's clear to see how much love and attention you put into it. Well, I did put in my best effort. I will always pour all my feelings into anything that would keep Instructor Reen safe. This is a very high quality item you've created. Well done, Altina. I couldn't have done it if you hadn't taught me how, Emma. Ren, here, you were a big help too. And Gandalf, I can't thank you enough for giving us guidance. Oh, it was nothing. Yeah, it was fun. In terms of pure craftsmanship, it's a little rough around the edges. The sincerity and emotion you put into this, though, makes it more powerful than anything I could have crafted myself. Kind of has my pride, I couldn't do more, but this will help that waking a boy out, no doubt about it. Right, we'll definitely bring him home. I'll give it to him then. Please hold on a little longer, Instructor. As cute old Tina continues to do cute things. As we get an Aaron pendant. And 4,500 mirror! And Forza Unity rating has increased. Cute old Tina! She doing all the cute things all the time! Bounce down one turn when I hit people? Anyway, where are we looking for? The Erin? Don't tell me the only person that can equip it is Reen, so therefore I can't see it. Makes sense. We were able to make a pretty strong magical accessory. It's all thanks to you, Altina. With this, it should be easier for Reen to keep his powers under control. Let's succeed so we can return it to him. Yes, we will definitely bring him back safely. Hey, you've been accomplishing a lot out there. Can't even begin to imagine what kind of messed up place this Black Workshop is. You and Emma have really done some impressive work. Keep him back safe and bring back the Ashen Awakening, yeah? We will. We promise. I don't need to check it now, if it's not there. I can check it when I have Reen, he says, knowing that he'll forget. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd have different dialogue here. Oh, what? I thought they'd have different dialogue because we just did a thing with them. They joined in and all. No different dialogues. Uh, I'm really starting to worry about Tita. I just tried searching for her, but nothing so far. The Empire's a big place, after all. It's exactly why we need something like the Orbital Network to keep everyone connected. Yep. Yeah. No extra dialogue for us helping them out. But Oz, how do you know we'll get Reen back? Well, that's true. No, it's not. <laughs> it is not true! We know the Reen will be there. Alright, we need to go to St. Grail Labyrinth next. 
for our fourth phase. A good place to level up, get some Sephith Mirror and more so we can gear up in the future. I just realized I did just get a whole bunch more mirror, which would have been great if I remembered, because <laughs> I could have bought weapons. Should have bought Kurt's weapon next, really. Oh, the greener hair really stands out here. To be honest, any colour actually stands out here. Alright, so set to phase four. What a weight within. Well, this is a little different. <laughs> Looking at the setup. Yeah. There. Did you even get any rewards four times, Seppi. Let's get to exploring. Left or right first. Dancer over there. One route's gonna lead to go. Oh God! Here we go. The advantage. I heard you wanted teleportals! The ultimate being. I dispute this fact. Set striker! I'm not sure it is. Go wild! Crazy hunt! Take that! My oh, turn. Obviously not very ultimate if it just gets chucked. It's down. Hit so hard. They're mine. But to be honest, it's still got a I lot of go. stuff on it. Search mode activate. Scan the ultimate being. That thing greater than Aurelia. <laughs> Detailed information. A hideous soft-bodied monster. It rots anything it touches. Its odor attracts evil beings. My turn. You're mine. I shall go. Hmm. So what are you doing? Big AoE. Do not like. Do not have impede. Save me! Switch! If you insist. Do you have impede? You don't. I'll just believe in your ability. Dance for me. Wide open! It's mine! Rest in peace. Rip. <laughs> you weren't half bad out there. <laughs> Why, thank you. I hate the extra dialogues though, because they're just not even just that kind of small talk. <laughs> I grew a little. Music levels up. Our scythe users are like, oh, scythe is bigger. Well, my scythe is longer. Right, we didn't get the scan there. We should have done it. Well, that's our first chest to pick up. Treasure chest. Cast free. It's not like we've already got several of them. And I'll deal with it. Alright, so there's another chest this way. Damn it. Oh, we got it! Wide open! Can't turn around. Octofiends times a billion. Alright, I can actually hit to there this time around. Ash just has a break if we want to. But to be honest, most of them should be dead and buried. Before even Ash gets to go again. Four out of four, yeah. but we're not actually doing great. Search mode activate. They do cast as well, remember. Detailed information. An eerie soft bodied creature that crept out from the spirit veins. This arts grow stronger the more mana there is. Seems most things I are weak this. to a certain thing at the moment. Dead man start. Got a little something for you. Bullseye! Now. 
No one is allowed to hit me. It's basically what we said. Yeah. Very well. Huh. Here I go. Well, that's, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> well, look at that. To be fainted twice in quick succession. At least they give me a lot of fishing bait. I mean, I could spend some time fishing in the main pool in town, which has those crabs. I shall go. I'm not sure I like this. Ha! Laser! Shark. The blurred shadows await. Go wild! Crazy hunt! No one with death blow, please. Though I do have a lot of protection against it now, because of what's happened in the past. Can't escape. Fire! Let's get him! It's me. Confuses the next most irritating. My turn. All right, so you have speed down. The others have defense down. They have a lot of HP. Search mode activate. Detailed information. A phantom obtained. that is made of pure hatred, and its howl stuns living creatures. It tends to gather near sources of life. I have no way of Very killing well. these guys in a quick, elegant fashion. My apologies. No if way. You insist. No way at all. At completely destroying our enemies here. Yeah. Complete. Thank you, Angel of Slaughter. Man, you guys were super cool. The Daniel reached level five. I know what to tell you, not to tell you X. So recover EP for offensive arts is now one percent damage is EP. Raises ATS ADF when battle begin is now ADS uh, four turns instead of two. Reduced AT delay after mirage arts. No new spell. Keepers also reached level five. We go from damage received down as HP drops 8% to 90% is now 10% to 90%. Break damage up, 5% extra. Critical rate up, 3%. No new spells. Level 5 seems to be about that. We get some Ambrosia too. Nicely done, Ren. She sort, she just comes in from the back party to just do the nuke and say, yeah, yeah, I wasn't enforcer, by the way. Tactical red in bound. Uh, an opening. Set gunner. Chop. Never good enough. My turn. Yeah. Well, that guy's blinded, so in some respects he's out of the action, in others he isn't. Huh. And that guy's nightmare My now, turn. so again, I guess same applies. healed himself. That just allows us all to wail on him again. Are we not gonna get... All right. There we go. Let's get him. BP it's back, mine. thank you please. Easily unscathed. Those sword tricks of yours sure came in handy. Thank you. Oh, Tina and Asher are about to finally reach Link level 4. Finally. Five U material. They know what I want right now, don't they? Shall I continue going on this way until I can't go the other way? I don't know. So now I'm over here. I have no clue what I'm doing. There. We will go in directions until I somehow end up at the right location. There. Let's wipe them out. Bonk these big slugs on the head for me. Hunt. I think cross break will hit all three. One uh, thing. I got this. Pretty good. You're mine. A I shall nightmare. Go. 
Soul Blur is my best spell on you. Charging! My turn! I think I should go for Fainty Boy. Huh. There! Just to get BP yeah, back for definite. Because I'm not getting crits at the moment. Another nightmare. I shall go. Who do I really target here? You know what I mean? Yeah. Now. They're all just getting up. Go wild. Crazy hunt. My turn. So one's dead. Charging. Try and not hit both. That's the disappointing thing. I'm gonna hit you just to get a BP. Get it's mine. Considering you're My fainted turn. for three whole turns. Yeah. Sure. Huh. Two. Yeah. No crits this time. I shall go. I'm just wasting all the crazy hunt on old Tina, aren't I? When you pick it. Not today. Yeah. And again. Battle complete. Let's continue. The old Tina Newt continues on as Code of Music reached link level five. Rush two. Nearly link level four for the other two, though. That'll be great with the fury and all that. I spy a chest over there. Do you? Flare butterfly, ah! Eh. Quite a nice one. Does it have any messages in it? No? Oh. A relic of a another time. Sepith, not much. I mean, I know this is the blocked door because you can see it on the minimap, but I'm always going to check it. So that's another warp. And another never war. I don't want to go the right way. I want to check out everywhere of this place. Wasn't this where we started? Seems we fell into a magical trap of sorts. <laughs> Charge complete. I guess we did, but I did just get two more U material. There. And maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, if I can just, should we just, if we just failed at the entrance there, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and get Kurt a weapon. Why not, right? It makes a lot of sense to just pop back, buy a weapon, then pop straight back again. Especially with the extra U material I've managed to get. Seems I can't do more than one weapon. So it'll be the snake blades. I can do more than one weapon, just about. As long as it's Musée's weapon. Cerulean dragons. And the Fermidor. Magic elemental. Lobster gun. <laughs> sure. So. You're the only one without now. That's kind of sad. We'll get it back. We'll get you a weapon too. So let's take the left path. Maybe get some new material from these guys. Would be nice as well. It seems if we warp out as well, these just respawn. Now let's go. Yeah. There. So, we haven't been here. It's just a lot more of the map filled up than I thought it would. Eh. What's down here? There. Hey, none of the big, long, lanky guys. There. Pretty Heavy sure that will knock them out no matter what, so we can go straight away. Chuck. I shall go. But shall you, though? Switch. <laughs> Leave it to me. 
Let's go. Not good enough. Strike! It's down. They're mine. Sure. Looks like we're leaving one target alive. Yeah. Tira. Let's go. I feel like they do not have their priorities for their future survival. Correctly. There. Correct. Basically. I got this. But they're doomed in so many ways. Ha. Done already? When you've got an issue pool of 7,000 versus multiple job, people attacking buddy. you, it's not that great, is it? What's a fishing meter? Sounds like something leveled up oh, and nothing happened. A treasure chest? EP free. I can actually talk to you anytime. Oh, you're gonna face a lot of tough opponents. Don't let your guard down. Call me in my order whenever you need it. And then actually just like, yeah, let's go. Ha! Nope, miss. We strike! I just want you on your own, blurred shadow. I worry about what your abilities may be. Chuck. There! They're mine! Even with the improved weapon right. rate, then quite resistant, aren't they? I'm at 200, so I may as well. You say it's about to get 100 CP. My turn. You're mine. I'm going. What are you most weak to? Yeah, it's a certain someone spells, but we're not gonna be able to really get that out. Oh, delay six. Galleon four. Yeah, sure. Why not? Arcus, activate. I'm not gonna really get that zero arts, but. There. Maybe zero delay Muse's already here. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Did the job. Man, you guys were super cool. I know. Couple of attacks and I will be able to take you out. You are weakest to that, so an Ivy Nail can actually hit all three. Huh. All right. One petrified already. Ta, ta. Yes. Don't know if what we've got what we need to finish things uh. off really, but my turn. Ash huh. smash. Not enough. It'll tear up. Actually chose to attack. My seven! Here I go! Congrats on the EP heal. <laughs> well, look I'm at that. not sure it's gonna help you. Man, you guys were super cool! Ash and wait, how does Ash and Yuna reach League Level? Before <laughs> Ash and Otina. Jitsu and Fury, have you learned? There, we finally got it! It happened! That's Fury and Auto Charge 2. That took a bit too long. There! Ha! Let's right, check out this way. Again? How troublesome. So, left is just oh, completely wrong. Don't you think those things on the ground in front of the doors might be a hint? I don't know. Are they? I didn't look. I was just gonna. I thought it'd be a trial and error dungeon. But this is wrong. Oh, okay. There's actually a rhyme and reason to this place that I didn't even realize. You're not losing my woods this time. I've technically already fought you and you. Locked and loaded. But if you leave me no choice, then I will attack. You could just leave me a choice. I wouldn't have to attack you then. My turn. Strike. 
Ow. Don't give up! Thank you. Not today! I got this. They're quite a good combo together in those regards. It's my turn! Set! Striker! Chop! Chop! <laughs> nice! We did it! But I also need the stuff they give me at this point. So that sucks too. Just totally breath them up. <sighs> Just what I needed. It's only a small amount of HP lost, and you know we'll get it back anyway. Oh great, you're gonna be right. They're in disarray. Let's take out this group because it's quite a big group. Nice experience, Go right? Crazy hunt. You can't escape. Fire! Let's get them. It's mine. Let's go. Let's spend a little on these. Strike! It's down! They're mine! Two breaks, no problem. Yes! Oh, c'est bleu. Because it should be able to go in a line and hit that guy over there. Azure wings! Shoot! Now's our chance! It's mine! Sure. One down. I can't actually tell which one's up first. On the gauge? That's not helpful. Yeah! It's down! I got you! Very well. I was correct. Huh. There! They're mine! Well, drop them in a blink of an eye. Those sword tricks of yours sure came in handy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's get to this boss. Finding the right path would be nice, after all. Hello, you saw me, I know. It's fine, I'm backing off a bit. they never catch me. He actually spotted me before I came near him again. So this way is correct. Locked and loaded. As we can see with the emblem of the sin. This is the way, unless there's a double back walk. So this was the wrong way. So there is actually only one route. I was wondering if there'd be multiple paths. Does not seem to be the case. To get our treasure chest and more. So that's a sun. Okay. I was wondering if it'd be double back route, but no, that just takes us back. Looks like we're pretty much there. That's all the treasure chest picked up after all. We strike. Go wild! Crazy hunt! Ha, ha. Wide open! It's mine! It's my turn! I'll leave it to you, if you insist. Dance for me. Age delay on her too. It's mine. Sure. Okay, you've got an art, do you? Oh wait, I should have kept you out. The sudden realization if I just left you for the next turn. Tag out! <laughs> Leave it to me. You would have beat them all. I'd have been able to summon the wolf again. Everyone. Nice job, Muse. Yay! Good job, guys! Looks like Ren's actually leveling up to 87 soon. She's not far off. There! So, three enemies left. Two enemies, technically. <laughs> An opening! Let me just blow you up with that again. A grenade would be nice to use, but you never know when I might want to use other things. Go wild! Crazy hunt! 
Tell me you have like an AoE attack. That'd be nice. No. It's got quite a few bonuses on her, that's for sure. Now looking at the thing. I don't Let's go. think I'm gonna get them broken. Or I am completely going. gonna get them broken without any worries. I'll leave it to you. I'm up. Come on, Smash Ash. You're mine. It's down. I'd like you have got no the octopus, problem. to be honest, but this is it. Our uh, scythe people go to work once more. <laughs> <laughs> now then. Why couldn't you do anything? Very well. Here I go. Watching the flitting back and forth there was quite interesting. Wide open. It's mine. I got this. Not enough. Perfect. It's down. No problem. Seven BP. You weren't half bad out Makes there. Makes sense to pair up the, <laughs> the Why, thank Reaper you. duo, doesn't it? Ash and Red are only linked level two, though. <laughs> it's only natural. Red levels up. Right, give me my treasure chest and don't send me down a wrong warp. A brave seed. I'm assuming that in here, oh, it's gonna say wasn't one of them guys. I got it. Nice. That's what I was waiting for. Go wild, crazy hunt. I mean, I really want to see it. <laughs> I mean, KO 50 is fine though. Dance for me. Our chance. It's mine. Yeah, she just killed Very two well. of them. Chuck. There. Two of them died. They're mine. From that one attack she did. I got this. Huh. It's down. No problem. This is it. More CP for Ren. That's fine. I guess fifty percent <laughs> KOs. Nothing to laugh there. at. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Yeah, I did it. All right, unit levels I up. Must train even more. Kurt levels <laughs> up. Nice. Ash levels Stats up. Stats updated. And old Tina to eighty-five. All right, let's find out what our phase four bosses then. Should probably hit that. <laughs> Once I've hit the depths, I can fast travel and skip the rest of the dungeon, right? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, a place to rest. Ah, oh, a spider! We don't need that in our lives. Alright, Ren, you are substituted because we need our skin. We are ready to go. Hi, giant spooter! Please don't have any crazy abilities that kill me. It's big. Let's be careful. Hi, spider with a lady's head. Stop having a lady's head. Ha! A powerful yeah. enemy. Exercise caution. Arachnigalia. That is its name. And I can even get shining off. First in shining is always good. Arcus, activate! Yeah! Defense, shining, that's a pretty good start setup. Ha! Now let's see what your trick is. Evil Eye of Dead useless. Sleep. Ha, <laughs> you're useless. I shall go. Search mode activate. No evil eye of dead sleep Detail for you. One well, looking at this obtained. monster spider's eyes is enough to poison your mind with unending nightmares. It's got lone blade on it. It uses unending nightmares. And it's got a muse. 
wanting, needing thing. That's where its weakness lies. I got Yuzo this. would be perfect. Go wild! Crazy hunt! Maybe I should have checked what Ren's sure. order is. Calamity Sphere, Accelerate, Cast Time, minus 50%. Yeah, that's pretty good. But uh, we're about to start the Smackdown, as we do. You're mine! Yeah! I'll assist. Very well. I'm just going to smack that spider back and forth, really. Right. It's down. They're mine! <laughs> just wobbling right. around up there. Switch. <laughs> Leave the it unfortunate to thing is Muse will not have Shining. Arcus, activate! All right. Unless I cast it again, Stryker. of course. Ha, ha. Let's get him. That's on my BP back. An opening. There. They're mine. It's spooda punishment. My turn. Go wild. Crazy hunt. And by crazy hunt again, we now have bigger strength buffs than we had before. Huh. It's down. They're mine. <laughs> I feel bad for the spooda. Lady Spider's not gonna have a good day. Sure. No, no, for definite, not sure. Huh. It's almost Down. dead! I've got I'm you. guessing it's gonna enhance. Oh, no, Wait. you didn't want to do that. <laughs> Stop this, Lady Spider! No, huh. oh, don't shoot me in the back. It's my turn! Lady Spider, you are having a very bad time. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. My turn. Prepare yourself. Ha! Shatter. Here I go. Time barrier. This Ready. is just me being mean. Sure. Now, eat this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. I just got it. Yeah, I did. Ha! Done already? Poor Lady Spider. Yay! Good job, guys! A knockout, that's for sure. Musing guys leveled up. Platania X was nearly leveled up as well. Long blaze of tank. <laughs> I grew a little. I need to keep getting better. Hunter Wing can now be used. Zeo glides down and charges through a group of enemies. Pink hair old Tina was obtained. Why? But still, job done. And so that's it for our time here in the Singrel Labyrinth. No tea party, no. I mean, poor boss just died horrendously. Ha! Can't say it any other way. Locked and I loaded. will, however, hit these just in case All they give right, me humor too. Be careful. Ha! Locked and loaded. Mainly step it. Right, job done. That was simple. We just ended up with a big amount of damage. Criticals coming off one after another, even on the 40%. And, uh... We were laughing, really, weren't we? You're guessing bedtime story now because it's close and this means you can prep people? Oh, I should be able to go to sleep, right? I don't think everything will just happen. We may as well see the cutscene that leads us into the next cool stuff, right? Before our bedtime story and more. I can still go to the shop after all and set up, maybe. I don't know, actually, if that's true or not. I want to see what happens after we go to sleep. We worked on finishing this day. So, I'm pretty sure everything's done. 
I mean, I did a quest. I played some games. That's what it basically told me to do. I did the St. Grail Labyrinth. I now have a book to read as a bedtime story indeed. But I might just go to sleep for now. I don't feel like I need to rest, but we can only wait until Rose and the others complete their search. Maybe I'll follow the others' leads and check my equipment. So it says the main story will progress once you retire to the guest room. Please know that all quests and some events you have yet to complete will disappear. Is it going to send me off into crazy terrains? It looks like it might do. Damn it. It might send me into the craziness. I want to see the divining. Sound like a big whining now. Damn it. It wants me to check for equipment, grind stuff up, get weaponry and more. I guess we can oblige. I guess this is the time to sort things out. That sounded like all of a sudden something's going to happen. But maybe it's lies, but we'll have to find that out next time. We've got a bedtime story to read. I'm just going to head to the orbital shop and hopefully have enough Sepith Mirror to at least buy Altina's weapon as well. Would be nice. I have to do exchange first, don't I? I think I do? No. I lack the tiniest amount. I refuse to be stopped from buying Altina a weapon that she doesn't even really need. <laughs> but it's just a point of principle, right? So I'm going to look through what I can do with the Sepith mess I have here, or Sepith just in general. See what upgrades I can get for next time. I really want to move on, so this sucks. <laughs> to be honest, I also need to make the X orbs and stuff on top of that. Talisman Claw gets made there. I didn't get any new material from the rest of that dungeon at all, so I really need to farm some of that. But Talisman Claw is made. I mean, I guess you can do fishing for it, but 400... I mean, it depends if you get fishing stuff or not. You can move on and reload if you can't grind. Fishing spot located. Well, I could. But I guess it is just better to wait till next Testing. time. And if I could get many small crabs from this. Oh, no. It's oh, it was a small crab as well. See, this is one way to get you material. Rather small. Only if you hit the grates. Because you can get quite a lot of new material Testing. quite fast. Just free per crab if it is Fight the crab. Received. I guess, like, you know, this is definitely the crab, right? Strong. I guess you'd understand which it is by which reel it is and then be able to get them. You could target just the crabs. It's a big one. Because getting a kangaroo for 24 times step isn't great, but getting the crabs for all that extra stuff is pretty good. So that's all fine. Man. Yes, we'll read us a bedtime story then. I'm going to grind up you material and more and hopefully have a bit more Sepith Mirror, though. I don't know how easy that's going to come across to get, that's for sure. Let's read our next story, shall we? To end ourselves, another stream. Just at a pivotal point, we have the legendary chosen one. There was no three and nine found this time. Hopefully in the future, right? Chapter two of the legendary chosen one. Conquest. The voice finished speaking and three pillars of light descended from the heavens into the three boys. Then it vanished as quickly as it came. They looked at the sky again and then at each other. Had all that been real? If you remember we got something to the game, we started hearing things. No way, we all heard the same thing. It had to be real, that voice said. It would give us power. Maybe we can, I don't know, use some kind of special skills now or something? Ondil tried waving his arms around, but nothing happened. Come on, give us some kind of hint. Ondal tried raising his arm one more time. Suddenly, there was a crackle of energy and lightning, or something that looked a lot like it started to shoot out of his palm. Whoa, did you see that? Come on, guys, you try it too. Following their friend's example, the other boys raised their hands. A wild wind shot out from Monty's, while Keith unleashed a torrent of water. Ondal was thrilled. It worked! We got the hero's ancient power for real! With this, we could take over the world or something. That'd be cool, right? The others were less enthusiastic about their newfound powers. Yeah, I mean, lightning's a bit more lethal. I could never do that. I get scared just talking in front of big groups of people. We can't go showing off this powder to just anyone. 
We have to keep it a secret, or else people will try to use it for crimes and stuff. Well, I couldn't believe his ears. What's wrong with you guys? We were given these powers for a reason. We can't just waste them. Well, fine, if you're chicken, then I'll do it myself. Before they could reply, he stumped away, leaving them still a little dazed and confused about what had transpired. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Taking over the world will be a cinch, and I'll start with the kids in the plaza. The next morning, morning, Ondel snuck out of his house and went to the capital alone. He found all the kids at the plaza and showed them his new trick. Check it out, it worked! I'm a real legendary hero now! Wow, that's so cool, you can shoot beans without using an ormond or anything! This was exactly the reaction Ondel had been hoping for. What's wrong with Keith and Moni, who wouldn't want to be a hero and have people admire them like this? I'm going to tell everyone about this and take over the world. Follow me! With another mighty cheer, they all set off joyously. Ondel now set his sights on the city's grown-ups. He showed his power to them just as he had to the kids, but it didn't work out the way he expected. None of them took him seriously. They all thought it was just some kind of childish game and told him not to play of ornaments. Ondel grew impatient. He raised his palm again and again. With each bolt he sent into the sky, the clouds got darker and darker. Before long, a storm was raging up above. A lightning struck an oral streetlight, shattering the glass and bending the pole into a strange, twisted shape. See? Not just anyone could do that, right? That got their attention. People who had been passing by were now stopping to stare at the destruction. I'm going to use this power to become a legendary hero. Follow me to glory! Now they'd all fall in line and cheer for him, or so Wondell thought. One old man clearly had other ideas. Now look here, sonny. Enough of this horseplay. You can't go around smashing things up like that. What would you have done if one of them bolts had hit someone, eh? What if you'd hurt one of your friends or burned someone's house down? His words shook Ondel. They had an even more dramatic effect on the crowd. Everyone started to lose interest and wander off. Even the kid who'd followed him all this way. They're supposed to be free heroes, right? Queried one kid. This guy's gotta be a fake. Slowly but surely, they all disappeared. I'm not a fake, it's true. You saw what I can do, right? I'm the chosen one. But they wouldn't listen. Dejected and alone, Ondal dashed down a back alley. He was afraid he might burst into tears and he didn't want anyone to see that. Eventually, he found himself at an empty lot. He thought he was finally alone, but then a man appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Hey kid, you're one of the legendary heroes, right? Don't worry, I believe in you. You're the real deal, I can tell. Finally, somebody who understood. Th thanks, I was kind of starting to wonder if I'd made some kind of mistake. The man knelt down so he could look on the right in the eye. Nah, I think the only mistake you made was not going far enough. Something about the way the man spoke was unsettling. Suddenly, Ondo felt a pressure of his mouth and a strange smell, and he started to feel very sleepy. <laughs> I can't believe he fell for it. Some chosen one he turned out to be. With that, the man hoisted Ondo over his shoulder and stuffed him into the back of an orbital car. Our sinister Charles tales continue, I guess. As our tale... In Trails of Cold Steel 4, continues next time. After a bit of grind, I need you, material, and how much of it do I need? A lot. We pinpoint Reen's location. Next time, do we head straight in, guns are blazing? Or do we, you know, wait, plan, plot? Is there something for us to do first? We'll find out then. And I hope you join me for more. No. I'll see you guys around next time. Bye-bye.